Welcome, Irish fans, to the Greensboro Coliseum. I'm Jack Nolan, joined by my radio partner, Jordan Cornett. Behind us, the Fighting Irish going through their second practice of the day. They worked out earlier this morning at a local high school. Now they're back on the floor working out some more. And a lot of teams use this public NCAA practice. Really, it's just a show practice to let their fans enjoy them dunking and they go through a little shooting. But Coach Bray has always used this as a real practice. Well, what Coach Bray does, he does it with a purpose, Jack. And his thought process is get these guys, let them get a feel for the rims out here, get some shots up, also run the floor, and get used to playing in front of people. You've got some fans out here as an open practice and kind of sets the stage, a soft stage, for what it's going to be like come tomorrow night when you tip off against Xavier. Well, I know all Irish fans, you want the Irish to win some games. So do we. And you're really going to kind of judge the season right now based on how they do now, but don't forget there are 345 Division One college basketball teams. Only 68 even get this far, get to the big dance. So it is truly a special achievement. I know you know it's a special achievement. You went twice, made it to the Sweet 16, but your final two years, you didn't get to play in the NCAA tournament. Something I'll never forget, not being able to play in it my last two seasons. Something I'll always remember was in 2003, winning those two games in that opening weekend in Indianapolis. The whole week leading up to Sweet 16, I felt like a king with how we were being, tre being treated by our fans and all the love and all that we were getting. So it's a very special thing in March and being able to advance is a special thing. I hope these kids get that opportunity to win two games this weekend and move forward. Now it has been a special year for the Fighting Irish. The Irish are not satisfied. They want to win, but they also know just how special it is for them to be here for the third year in a row. Um, very special, um, especially because of the year we, uh, you know, we have we have had, um, and just you know, uh, for for Coach Bray, you know he's, he's done another great great job this year. Um, it feels good. It feels good to get him to this spot again. Yes, it's a huge honor, uh, especially from where we we came from. We felt like I think there were definitely times last you know earlier in the year where we felt like you know team number three fifty, you know, and uh, we were at the lowest of lows uh, to a certain degree, but. We had some great practices, we worked really hard, we came together as a team, and now, um, while this is a huge reward uh, already being here, we'd like to really persevere and go on further. Um, it means the world. I mean, we've, we've, we struggled at the beginning of the year, obviously, and to be able to come back um, from, obviously, Abro's loss, from our chemistry struggles at the beginning of the year, and to be here, um, no one really thought it was going to happen besides the people in our locker room. So. Uh, to get here, that's really a great learning experience for me as a freshman. And that being said, we don't want to just get here. We want to try to do something. And speaking of players who believe this is special, we didn't talk to him in the locker room because he basically came out of the stands. Garrick Sherman drove all the way from South Bend to be part of this workout and be part of this weekend for his team. Now, some will say, what, he couldn't travel with the team? No, he can't. He's a transfer sitting out the year, and the NCAA requires that he pay his own way to get here. He did that, both gas money and hours to drive here. The focus for this team now is on Xavier, and my buddy is from the city of Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Knows a little bit about the <laughs> Xavier program and this team in particular. Your thoughts on the Xavier team? I think guard plays the name of the game in this one. They've got an incredible backcourt. Mark Lyons, two Holloway. We boast a pretty good backcourt in ourselves and Eric Atkins and Jaron Grant. I think how those two sets of guards come out and play will really be the storyline. I'm interested to see a lot of talent on the floor come tomorrow. Fighting Irish team is really very happy that they do not play until Friday. They've had a really good week of practice. Last couple of days, they've really been focused on the Xavier Musketeers. We asked some of the players what they've learned about Xavier. They have a really good, they have really good guard play. I mean, two Holloway and Lions are just great guards, and they have a big guy down low, which excites me because I always like going up against another good big guy. So I mean, it should be a good matchup. Um, well, we have learned that we have to fight over ball screens, and we have to um, just dig in defensively. I think our defense sparks our offense, so they're a very good offensive team, and if we can match that defensively, then our offense will take care of itself. They, they are a very good team. Um, they have two very good guards, um, and two highway and Mark Lyons, and um, we're going to have to control those two um, to uh, be successful in the game. You know, a lot of folks are talking about this is a matchup of two backcourts. Does that motivate you at all? Um, definitely. You know, I, Jer, Jer and I have, have heard that throughout the week. Um, and, um, you know, we, we both take that on uh, personally. 
Um, so uh, we're going to be excited for the matchup. Um, but, you know, it's it, but we're going to do whatever it takes for us to win. Of course, Coach Bray and selected members of his team had to meet with the media a little while ago here in Greensboro. That press conference will be posted here on UND.com in just a couple of moments. And join us again tomorrow. We'll follow the Irish again throughout their day leading up to tip-off between Notre Dame and Xavier. We'll get Jordan's keys. We'll get Coach Bray's keys as well. With the Irish in Greensboro, I'm Jack Nolan, UND.com.